I worked with a guy named Mike Boulevard Highway, Mike something. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you right now. His name Baltimore. is Mike Baltimore. <laughs> you were way off. Yeah. <laughs> well, Boulevard, uh, Baltimore. Yeah. I'm kind of in my feelings this morning, man. Oh, shit. Yeah. Guys can't do that. You ready to record audio? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, ready? Just in case this gets good. Hey everybody, this is Carlos and Sandy Lee. This is season two of Off Your Flosser Podcast. Please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, be a friend, listen to Oif, thank you so much, and go floss yourself. Flow floss yourself. There we go. Okay, episode 98, we're recording, and test, test, test. I guess my laptop was being a jerk. Laptop. Was it a Chromebook? Get out of here. No, it's a HP... I don't know. It's some <clears throat> cheap thing. Ooh, I can wear my glasses again, though, because I don't get that glare from the computer. Boom. There you go. I'm so happy now. Yeah? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Well, good to see you, man. How are you this morning? Oh, I'm good. How you doing? Got I'm my good. coffee. Got the coffee. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Next time you go to Dunkin' Donuts, get a medium cup. I don't have Dunkin' Donuts here. You might need to drive to Springfield. Golly. God, it's, it's at least be. an hour away. No. Yeah. The last Dunkin' Donuts I was in was in Virginia. Yeah. 20 years ago. Huh. Okay. Yeah, we got to work something out. <laughs> you got Krispy Kreme? Yeah, it's about an hour away. Wow. Okay. But I got one. All right, at least so I know get, where it is. I don't if, know where. Don't if you get a medium cup of that, then l- save the cup, rinse it, and save it, so we can do our little phone phone coffee th- trick. Okay, thing. transfer. Yeah. So here's the thing with Krispy Kreme, though. If I go in just for an empty cup of coffee or no. a cup of coffee, the smell is gonna get me. Like the rhythm is gonna get. Gloria Estefan, but the smell is going to get you That's exactly what I was thinking. Man, Carlos, you and me. The smell is going to get me. The smell is going to get me. Well, you yeah, want to see so something stupid? I'll have to get donuts. All right, I can't believe I'm showing I thought I was already looking at something stupid. Oh, oh snap. Oh, burn. <laughs> burn. <All right. laughs> Listen to this. Okay, I'm listening. Hey, Siri, what's my name? I'm on it. You're Carlos, but you asked me to call you. Come on, shake your body, baby. Do that. Conga, I know you can't control yourself any longer. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, I, forgot so, I, I forgot I did that, and it makes me laugh every time. It's so stupid. <laughs> my phone. So my, my little god kids... Um, Evie and Charlie, they were at my house. This was years ago. And they were playing with my phone. And Evie tells my phone to call me a name. So still, 10 years later, I've never changed it because I think it's hilarious. So she says, Siri, call me Princess Poopy Pants. Okay, yeah, we've talked about that. So now, every time... I, I, you know, I say something and it goes, I'm sorry, Princess Poopy Pants. I didn't hear what you said That's or something funny. like that. I'm like. Right. <laughs> That's funny. Great way to start the day, though. I mean, with a laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, it started doing Just it like the other this. day. And my wife didn't know that yeah. I that I did that. And she goes, what what the hell is that? I'm like, Gloria Estefan, dude. She was like. You know, Gloria <sighs> Estefan. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you got to have fun with dumb stuff when you can. Because you never Absolutely. know if you're going to be here tomorrow. And uh, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. We just found out last night that he uh, oh, succumbed yeah. to colon cancer, which sucks really, really bad. And um, 43. Gosh. 43. Two years older than me. Just so young, man. Yeah. You know? I know. And the dude, 
you know, I enjoyed all his all his movies or whatever, but I caught that last one, that Twenty One Bridges. Um, he was a detective in New York City. I don't know if I've seen that. It was like one of the last movies that I saw, like right before COVID yeah. locked everything down. Was, oh right, yeah. It was a thriller, man. Dirty cops and their their drug money and people getting shot and and he was just a bad dude, man, in that movie. And uh, yeah, yeah. I, who no one knew. I didn't know he was even sick. You know? No, and I saw like uh, I read an article about it, and um, it said something about like he was still acting and still working in between chemotherapy and and treatments. And I was like, geez, yeah. I guess you uh, want to yeah, leave a, a body of work, you know, like yeah, which we yeah. are. I mean, this podcast, yeah, will I live mean, on. yeah, uh, you know, it, it sounds dumb, but you're right. Like my grandkids can be able to go. Hey, you want to see my my grandpa when he was young, and his and his it friend. Is. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like a video diary. We've talked about yeah, yeah. We talked about this once before. Oh, Carlos, I didn't charge this phone last night because I was like, oh, I don't use this phone. It's got 10%. That's going to be a problem. The gods are telling us something. It is going to be a problem. All right, right. so can you just put a to be continued across the screen? Yes. All right, I'll do that. I'll do that now. Okay. We'll be back in a flash. And we're back. Hey, Sandy. Hi. Get some juice in your phone. I did. Apple. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's an Apple phone. That's silly. Explain something to me. And I'm sure. not complaining. Maybe a little bit, but um, do you not charge your phone at nighttime? So I charge both phones every night during the week. However, if uh, it's the weekend and I don't feel like walking over there to put it on the charger, I will not. So I was like, eh, I'll deal with it tomorrow because normally I use my laptop. And my personal phone. So those, I charged all night long. Laptop was on the charger. My phone was on the charger. Gotcha. All right. So here we are. All right, so we're back. Charged up to 73%. You know, hopefully that's enough. Nothing's I pray good. it's enough. <laughs> Nothing's too good for the OIF listeners. Um, yeah. Well, what is it? Saturday? It is the it 20th. Is. Uh, did we say this already? The 9th. No, 29th. 29th. I don't think so. In episode... 98 so we're two away from 100 and we have to do some big shebang uh yeah we got to go live or something yeah and we're so close to the end of season two isn't that crazy because 104 episodes would be two years worth if we did 52 episodes the first time 52 episodes the i second. think we do or are we doing it by time because i think we started in october 2018 well, definitely, our fiscal year is is not January first to to New Year's Eve. Right, um, right. I'm not even considering that. I'm either time or episodes. Which do we? Well, I say we go by episodes, man. Let's just keep it easy because I think we All dropped right, well, two then, episodes that first week. We did. We did yeah. like an intro thing, and then so let's just keep it keep it going at that. You know, or do you want to do is the? Is that how we did it last time? How did we do it last? time? I, I want to say. I think we did time. So, like, October would be um, the start of season three. Okay. All right. Let's just keep it, do that then. Yeah, because we don't want to party too hard for episode 100 and then four episodes later party even more. We're getting too old for that. Yeah. Once so. every six months, all day, all, all year long. Yeah. Twice give in it a month. a couple months to recoup. Yeah, twice in one month is uh, is a little bit much. Yes, I had to change my lights, man, real quick. I had to change my lights. Because yeah, my yeah. last episode. I mean, I can see my face. Um, I, yeah. I think I I told you I complain. I think I have one eye that's bigger than the other. My face is not yeah. symmetrical, but nobody's is. Damn but it. I mean, mine is very, very like right now. I'm kind right. of squinting my left eye to make it. I'm not yeah. trying to be cool. I'm just trying to make mm. them line up. But this this is this yeah. is me opening both eyes at the same time. You see the right. What's up with yeah, that? Yeah, hold on. Let's I got see. a Stallone thing going on. Look at that. Yeah. It's 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 obvious, right? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I, I mean, but I look happened. at your face all the time, so. 
Okay, that that wasn't maybe creepy. maybe ask somebody who doesn't look at your face. <laughs> I can't drop this face on, on a stranger, you know. I know. Whew. But anyway, I was having like shadows coming from the top, and it was making my eyes look just dark and old and creepy. Oh, I was like, I don't yeah, like that, you can't so. have that. Know, you so. look you look good. I like the collared shirt, and it makes uh, I I mean, either that. I mean, you are skinnier. I know that, but I think yeah. skinnier is is might be rounding up a little bit. Um, <laughs> I I appreciate the sentiment. So you're ninety nine point nine skinny, so I'm gonna round up to skinnier. Yeah, no, I, I, less fat. <laughs> I would take I would take less fat. No, but I'm definitely um, uh, way more fit than I was. I don't know two months ago. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, I think you're. I think you're good. I feel pretty good. I feel I feel, so, I feel good. Although I think can, I hurt my can, biceps, hmm. um, on the lat pull down machine. This way to the gym. Um, well, I, I got a strong back. I always have, and I think it's stronger than my arms, if that makes sense. And I yeah, think it I knocked. Is. I may have torn something loose, man, and not, not not bad, but it just it just kind of achy and yeah. It, like if it had, if it made a sound, it'd be like <laughs> yeah, like the so oh, just kind of like whiny and annoying, yeah. That we work on. So. I went out this morning and got the dog some wake up wraps because you know how we do it on Saturdays around oh, here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, oh, uh, I bet they eat them up. Oh my god! I mean, all three of them are circling me like sharks yeah. as I'm walking up the stairs, and I let mom feed them because that's her yeah. thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And they they all swarm her, and she holds it like this, and they kind of take it out of her mouth. I'm like, dude, that's too close, man. But. She's like, what? Uh, they just take it. And I'm like, dude, you, you know you're feeding them. And then she'll go like, you know, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> you stupid dog. There you right? go. You yeah. <laughs> she babies these things. So. Um, yeah. I feel like I'm hogging the conversation, but I just want one more one more quick thing. Yeah. Um, I get a call yesterday. From the From, FBI. They finally caught you. Them. And I'm, no, I'm still on the run. Um, oh, okay. But okay. Elijah called me also. Oh, yeah. Actually, it was, uh, I think it was the day before, Thursday. Yes. I'm so, so, I was off yesterday, but I'm, uh, I was editing last week's episode, and I'm just, just excited. And I, I think I'm, uh, it's getting to the point where, not getting to the point, it's gotten to the point where I'm out of clinical, dude, uh, two weeks. I'm putting my notice in on Monday. Nice. Ugh. So and this is coming out goes Friday. Wild. So this episode's coming out Friday, so my boss will listen to it, but he's gonna find out in two days. Okay, before this comes out. Yeah. That would be a bad way. That's like texting to break up with somebody. I know. Or texting to say I want a divorce or something like that. Hey, it's not you, it's me. Um I'm moving out. You know? <laughs> Baba um, chose. <laughs> so I just wanna say, um, I, I don't know if I'll, I'll pull out 100% at, at first, but I yeah. might keep a day or two, you know, just to sort of keep my feet wet. And, um, uh, but yeah, I just want to say thanks to Dr. Yeah. Musiker, Dabowski, Dr. Sanvi, all those guys are, they're like friends and, nice. and, and family. So, um, it's, it's, it's going to be a little bittersweet. And I, I, we had this where I was almost going to leave in April and then COVID right. hit and it messed everything up. So, um, yeah. Again, no hard feelings is nothing but love. But I think it's yeah, gotten to the point you've always, where at my yeah. age and skill level, I, I don't – there's always something yeah. to learn. But I, I don't – clinically, I think I'm done. You know what I mean? Your particular <laughs> set of skills, yes. Yeah, I think clinically I'm I'm, I'm at my physical limit. And, um, and I think my speaking skills would be more – how do I say – would be better utilized – in mm -hmm. this next position that I'm going to be in. Yeah. My ability, I think you're right. My ability um, to talk trash and and make Yeah. you know, just just You're you're great at personality it, so. wise. I I think that's what I do. I don't I'm not much in the looks <laughs> department, but personality I got it for days, so. Uh so we'll see we'll see what happens. So again, thanks Elijah and those guys and uh at Driven Dental Implant Marketing and yeah. um I'm I'm excited to see where where this Woo. goes. But we're still doing this. This isn't going anywhere. Well, yeah, this ain't going nowhere. No, this is so everybody We're about relax. ready to gear up for season 3. Biatches. You know? <laughs> so what do you got going on? 
We've been renewed for another season. Uh, yeah. Did you tell we, anybody we, yet? We were, we were picked up by uh, the free media. <laughs> uh, uh, so can I ask you a personal question? Yeah. Do you get uh, do you get fever blisters? I have, but it's been a while. So I feel like because uh, we all know that that's herpes, right? It's a form, yeah. Yeah. So is it the herpes? Is it the bad one, the naughty one, or is it? Oh, it can oh, be right. So back in the day, yeah. Now it can because back in the day. This might be a little PG-13, I don't know. But back yeah. in the day, it used to be herpes 1, herpes 2. But now they're finding herpes 1 or uh, 2 up up in that area. So, ugh. So now it's like, I don't know. Is it 1? Is it 2? I don't know. But so do, <sighs> we, do we call those fever blisters because uh, we don't want to say that's the herp? Or... Probably. Uh, they probably they would probably um, form when you had fevers and, and your immune system is low and stress and stuff like that. Because those are the things that kind of make them yeah. pop. Yeah, and make them, make them come up yeah. to the surface. Wh- why do you ask? So, <laughs> <laughs> so I've never had fever blisters. Uh, I just didn't. Uh, um, but I get little uh, pimples. On the what's the labial commissure? Ver, vermilion border. It? Vermilion border. Thank you. Um, so I have one now, but it's it, it's a pimple. So here's and this is why I'm okay. having this conversation. So, so you get me so, to out myself, and then and then you just hit me with just a regular pimple. Right, and then I go, yeah, I don't get it. So yeah, that's gross. <laughs> and uh, wow, uh, I don't know if we yeah. can keep doing this. But here's. <laughs> Here's why I'm asking because, like having the the fever blisters, it's not like I feel like people are embarrassed by them, but there's so many people that get them. So yeah. like, what's the big deal? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's uh like you, it's a communicable disease. Like you can give it to somebody else, whether it's kissing or whatever. And that's why we don't kiss babies on the lips. Do y'all know that? Don't kiss mm-hmm. babies. Well, pretty much on the face. Like don't even touch the face. Because, you know, you hear about babies getting very sick and even worse from grandma or mom kissing them on the lips right. and face. But anyway, back to my thing. Um, so the embarrassment part. Like, so when I have these little pimples that show up and I'm like, oh, it's a, oh, it's a pimple, but everybody's going to think it's a herp. And I'm sitting here going, well, why is that such a big deal? Why is the embarrassment? What What's the big deal? Um, you know, because hmm. it is. Uh, how many people have herpes, uh, fever blisters? Like pro- like zillions. Is that a number? I it just made now. it up. It is now. It's like tens of millions, zillions, billions. Um, I've At had them rate. since high school. Right. And then um, little kids get them, too. So I don't know, I don't know who I kissed back in the day, but yeah, you probably some hoard around and somebody picked it up me. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you probably got it from Snickers. <laughs> you know, no, no, Snickers is because you kissing Snickers on the lips. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. all right, you ready? Tell me, tell me. Wow, wow. Okay, fifty to eighty percent. Of U.S. adults have oral herpes, according to the National mm-hmm. Institutes of Health. About ninety okay. percent of adults have been exposed to the virus by age fifty. Once yeah. infected, a person will have herpes simplex virus for the rest of his or her life. I yeah. a, again, I, I don't even know if we should go there, but I'll say this: I've only had the occasional once every few years. Yeah, fever blister, herpes, whatever you want to call it, yeah. on my on my face, on my lip, actually, never below the neck. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just for the record, not that anybody Which, cares, not that I'm going to be sharing with anyone. Right. I'm just saying. <laughs> for the record. <laughs> for the record. Um, and again, hey, you know, live your life. You know what I mean? You know, but yeah, um, don't let that stop you. Evidently, and, and, it's very popular. 
popular. <laughs> so if Ooh, that's I not a reason no. for for coming your ass home instead of staying at the club. <laughs> right. There right, you go. Yeah. So uh, there but, you go. But the thing is, like, people will, um, you know, put makeup on it and stuff like that because they're embarrassed. And my thing is, I think we should start a campaign. Okay. Sponsored by OIF. Free to herp. What do you think? Work the herp. Okay. Work the herp. Oh, yes. Will that yes. work? So we'll have people send pictures. But we spell it pictures. W-E-R-K. Okay. Oh, twerk the herp. Oh, my gosh. This is getting that's, better. That's probably oh. how you got it in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> but let's have people Ugh. send in pictures of them showing off their their. No one's going to do that. I know, but we can still ask. And and power to the people don't be ashamed because there's so many people that have it. I feel like we have huh. so many people are so ashamed of one thing or another. They don't like the crow's feet. They don't like their lines. They don't like one their nose. eyelid. They don't like not opening their, as big their as the teeth. Other. It, exactly. They got one eyelid that's open and the other one's halfway closed like a weirdo. I mean, so <laughs> <laughs> kinds of defects. Well, everybody has some sort of defect, and there's so many people right. in the world that want to be perfect, and they present this perfection, and that's why we have Snapchat filters. That's why we have filters on all of our um, social media now. It's like, ugh. What's did you real? See the, did you see the picture I posted on Lighthearted? And no. I said, drop your morning selfie here. It was me with hair going like okay, this. Yeah, 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 I saw Had that. my night guard in, and I'm like... You know, let's be real. No filter. That was authentic. You can pop that picture up there because I'm not ashamed of it. Everybody wakes up looking like crap. Maybe. I'll, I'll say this. Um, yes. It, it's it's more, and again, I know I'm going to piss a lot of people off on this. And But you got to be, if we're going to be real, let's be real. Let's be let's real. Let's be honest. Warning, Most guys, real alert. other than morning breath and maybe a little bed hair, if you have it, not yeah. that bad. A little bit you of mean water. When they're looking at women. Well, no, no, just guys when they guys wake up. Guys in general. Yeah. The average guy doesn't right, look that much worse than he did when he laid down. Yeah, because they, they don't wear makeup and they don't, but, generally, they don't wear makeup. They might wear some product in their hair or But whatever. sometimes the ladies, they just, you know, not as crisp as, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so have you ever watched um, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel? I've seen it and I want to watch it, but I know I'm probably going to get yeah. addicted because the the two or three episodes I saw were funny as hell. And oh, I love it! Absolutely love that show. So there's in the she's very, amazing. Uh, she is. And I mean, that's why I don't want to watch way, it because I know I'm going to get stuck. But um, but even as an actress, feel bad. to do the the timing and all that, she's fantastic at it. Oh yeah, yeah. Like her execution, I fantastic. I'm bit my hangnails, so I'm not okay. perfect. Anyway, you have hangnails. But she would, okay. <laughs> she would wake up early, so she would go to bed with her husband. Yes, with her hair I saw done, that. Her makeup on, and she would wake up thirty minutes early, go in, do her makeup, fix her hair, and then lay like perfectly in the bed, so her husband would never see her without being completely done up. And I'm right. sitting here going, "Yeah, that's not happening up in here." Not at all. And then he left like, her. Love me this way or this way. Yeah. And I'm like, jerk. so there's there's your lesson. You can do anything and everything to make perfection. Boom. But that's not always what people want or yeah. need. Yeah. Or they might take it for granted. So why do it? Here's the thing. I um, I, I, I watch a lot of comics, right? Yes. And... And I, I, if you're funny, I'll watch. I don't, I don't care who it is. Right. And there's yeah. a, a female comedian, uh, Lynn Coplitz, who's fantastic. Okay. And language is, is adult, you know. But she says some real shit from time to time. You know what I mean? And yeah. and it's just the stuff that she drops is, is legit. Like, if a guy likes you, ladies, if a guy mm -hmm. likes you, mm -hmm. okay, there's nothing you can do to make him not want to like you. you you know what i mean like you're like yeah. dude i didn't do yeah. my hair i don't care 
uh, I'm, right. I'm covered in dirt. Yeah. I was in the garden. I, I don't care. I, I, yeah, I saw. Right. But I got he, fat. If he doesn't find you attractive, if you don't knock off, you know, check those boxes of whatever it is, nothing right. you do. Personality and stuff will like that. Yeah. Get him on board. Like he may still. Right. You know, sleep with you, but he won't want to be with you, if that makes sense. Yeah. And, and I'm it's just a wine, being dine, real. And you know what I mean? So, kick um, you out the door. Yeah. So I always told my daughter, I go, look, man. Don't chase guys. Let them come to you, and then you pick which one you want. Nice. Right? Because you know they're already yeah, interested. Uh, yeah. You know? Because yeah. if you're not interested, you're not going to talk to them, you know? And, and, right. and, just, and just feel them out, and then, you know, pick one. And uh seen it seen to work okay for her. So <laughs> that one. <laughs> and, and, you know, she was like, I, when she was in high school, yeah. she was taller than everybody else. Oh, I want to be yeah. like, you know, Tiffany or whatever or, or mm-hmm. Brittany or you know you know the, the little cheerleader right. type chicks right and i'm yeah. like babe you, you're you're five nine it's just it is what it is you know right the the, the boys will grow up and then everything yes. will even out later on so and she's right. fine so and the the thing is those those cheerleader types they might be looking at her going oh man i wish i were taller everybody so, thinks i'm 12 you know what i mean or, or whatever problem they got yes. going on you know what i'm saying yeah so the grass is always greener. Everybody, like, they're going to put this perfection forward, but it's not really perfection because on the inside, you know, their house is a mess. Like, okay, well, I just hurt my own feelings. But anyway, <laughs> so these are these are things that in life, does it really truly matter? No, it doesn't matter. What matters is your relationships with others, feeling loved and giving love and things like that. So to her, oh, I shouldn't have said that right after giving love and receiving love, but. Catching love. You get, <laughs> whether you like it or not. You know, you're taking this with you. That's how much I love you. So it is, it is what it is. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So stop worrying about dumb yeah. shit and. Uh, yes. Yes. Be with that somebody matter who likes you is and, what matters. Uh, and be happy. Life is too short. It's, you know, um, John Heffron last weekend was saying a line, and I kind of stole it uh, on my thing on Wednesday. And it uh-huh. said something along the lines of, <clears throat> let's enjoy this as weird as it is because we're all socially distanced and stuff in the audience, whatever. Yes. And he goes, um, no matter who wins in November, things are going to burn down. There's going to be a lot of pissed off people. So yeah, you can never make so everybody happy. So let's just happy. be happy now and enjoy whatever we have, and you know we'll deal with that when it happens. So, um, yeah, life is always. I've always has ups and downs, mm-hmm. you know. So, I've always been one to say that I feel like personally that that all of this is a challenge and a test and all that because you're going to have trials, big trials, little trials, huge trials, little speed bumps huge roadblocks but you have to figure out how to get around get over get under whatever these roadblocks to come out the other side a decent person and hopefully happy and i mean i i i think that you know i'm a a decent example of that because john and i we've gone through pretty hefty shut up We've gone through pretty hefty Uh, things emotionally, um, you know, physically and and all that. But my goal is, you know, hopefully I'll be happy. But my goal is there are so many people out there who are going through similar things. And I'm here. I feel like mostly on the other side of this, I need to help them. I need to, Mm -hmm. you know, it's like that meme that says, you know, if you were the first to go through something you need to write the survival guide for those that come behind you or something like that. That's that's because I've, I've heard that. Right. Yeah. So like if there's somebody going through something similar, I'll reach out and I'll be like, hey, this is what I did. Maybe it'll help you or whatever. Sure. Or if they, you know, if they don't want my advice, that's fine, too. But anyway, so I think that that is a decent type of human being type goal is to help others um going through similar or even if you don't get what they're going through you can still be an ear i do that a lot like i have people randomly message me from lighthearted and and they're like hey what do you think about this and and whatnot and i'll give them some unbiased uh you know insight you know it's interesting um people on facebook don't don't do that to me 
Don't do that to me. But my friends, people that know me, will call me and, and hit me with stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm pretty, yeah. Um, I'm, you know, and you guys know I'm a, I'm a little emotional and stuff. But the point is, I, I think though. people think that I'm going to joke about it or not take right. your complaint seriously. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, or your situation seriously. And uh, that that's, that can be further. That being said, I don't want to hear a bunch of sad stuff. Because I yeah, I'm I'm a, yourself, I'm a little no. the, the that empathy thing I just get too far into it and it, and right, it, and it yeah. affects like, like legit what, it affects you want, me. You want money here here money. You want my grandson. Oh yeah, here like, take, I'm, so take I, my grandson. Like what do you need? I've got to learn to just dis, sort of distance myself and, and compartmentalize. Compartmentalize, yeah. Yes, and yeah. and just set, keep that separate from from the day to day stuff. I, I'll say this. Yeah. Ever since my kids were little. I told him, so listen, try to laugh as much as you can. Try to have yes. fun, healthy, good times as often as you can because the bad times are coming. It's just a matter of we don't know coming. when, we don't know how. My man, the uh, Chadwick, you know, rest in peace, which, I, again, I didn't know him. I didn't I didn't really know what he what he was about, I, but I knew that the dude was yeah. an amazing actor, you know, and I enjoyed right. his and work. Right, and you feel like you know him a little and bit. And I kind of feel from... bad that it, what his family's going through and how young a guy he was and all that stuff. So yeah. you never know when, you're, when your number's up. And uh, so try to have, at the end of the yes. day, when you check out, I want to have a positive um, number. Yeah. Uh, in a higher number of good times than bad times. That that's all I'm trying to right. do. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. If it's two to one, even better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because life mm-hmm. sucks a lot of times, and we all worry about bills yeah. and health and this and that and kids and yeah. education and Jesus Christ, it, it never ends. So yeah. yeah, we talk about dumb stuff sometimes, and that's because it all helps me, and I and I, I think it helps you too, and I hope it. The people yeah. listening to this realize we're not idiots. We act like it professionally, but <laughs> but we're, Wait, we're professionally. We're just, what are you talking about? <laughs> like you know, we we do this in front of everybody. Yeah. It's not just two people talking. You know. Uh, yeah, this is this is me, faux real. Like I, I yeah, I'm not gonna fake the perfection crap. Yeah. What's yeah. the point? You're we, only we, trying to fool yourself. We got a little touchy you know? feely this morning. It's the coffee. No, I'm just kidding. I, oh, so real quick side note: the guy that was supposed to bring me the uh, Arabica coffee or whatever, yeah, what happened? Came, to that? In, came into the office yesterday. He wasn't on my schedule, but guess what I did? I popped my head in and I said, "Where's my coffee? Yeah, where's my coffee?" And he goes, "Oh, ask my wife." And so I went and I I said, "Oh, hi, I'm Sandy." You know, and I was talking to her, and she goes, "Hi, I forgot it." <laughs> Uh, very nice people. Anyway, so hopefully, maybe next week or something, I will have some of this coffee. Do you have a way to <laughs> grind it? Do you have a grinder? Yes, I do. <clears throat> Sorry, I forgot. I'm pushing him a shove, you just throw it in a blender. I mean, it might be a little coarse, but yeah, I got a, I got a grinder. Yeah. It, it, it's going to happen, man. Mm. Huh? Mm. So, guess what I got in the mail? Was that a good cup of coffee? Because it looked like you were enjoying the hell out of it. It's you good. Know? She turned the thing 180 <sighs> degrees straight up like a damn stork mm. swallowing a Hold fish. On. Jeez. <sighs> okay, you good? All right. What yes. what you get in the mail? Hit me. The oh, ba bow. Oh. Have you what tried is that? these? The ready tabs. So I have. I've never tried them. I'm that gonna do like it right you, here. You dip metal instruments in to clean them. So, <laughs> right? The blue tabs. Ready tab. Um, so it's um, the Describe. Listerine ready tabs. A whole go. mouth clean feeling on the go. Chew, swish, swallow. Gross. And I'm sitting here going, yeah. Anyway, so on the back it says a revolutionary way to get a whole mouth clean and fresh feeling anytime anywhere um and it comes with eight no yes eight tabs in there and i want to try them they look like little cubes like the icebreaker gums you know what i'm talking yes. about the little oh, ice maybe I gums read. lift to open 
Yeah, that's kind of what they are, but it's not gum. Oh, and it comes in, so it's an aluminum foil pack. Okay, and you punch it Listerine, through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hashtag Listerine in this, and hopefully they'll um, sponsor us next time. So I chew it to activate the tablet. I swish for whole mouth clean and fresh feel. Swallow and go. All right, okay. we'll have at it. I just had all this coffee. So all let's right, see let's what, see. Let's, let's bad get, boy. Let's get ready to what catch the? some. False advertisement already. How you Look figure? Look at these. Look at that. It's That's... whitish. It's supposed to be bluish. No. It's, the pla- it's, it's the blue plastic, plastic that's blue. Yeah. Oh. You thought it was going to be blue? Well, yeah. Listerine's that's even blue. less oral worthy. I'm not putting blue stuff in my mouth. You don't use Listerine? Yeah, I'm not going to swallow it. You've never you've never chewed like grape bubble gum? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but even okay, that's just then. a little purple. That's not purple purple like your shirt. All right. So does it have a little flex this? of blue in it? Oh, it does, yeah. Can you okay. see it? Hold on. Let me... Yeah, it's got a big L oh, on it. It's here. a square tablet. It's got two colors. Okay. I see like a white and a light blue, a big L. It looks like gum, dude. All right. Have at it. All right. All right. Whew. Here we go. Uh, the ghost pepper is in my mind right now. Yeah. This is nothing compared to ghost peppers. Oh, let me read the direction. Chew. You got a swish. Does it melt? <laughs> mm. All right, swallow it and see what happens. You're going to spit it out into the coffee cup, aren't you? I swallowed it. Oh god, that looked that looked harsh, dude. <laughs> it's it still probably wasn't as bad as ash water. Oh from, no, from no, New no, York. No. Mm, that wasn't. How was it? Was it like a a big gulp it or was it like bad. a little sip? It was a gulp. Ooh. Well, in between a sip yeah. and a gulp. It really Ooh, and now do you see the ice crystals? Oh dude. You're fogging up the screen. <sighs> So you're probably minty all the way down, right? Oh, yeah. You know what? You feel that in your throat, probably. This would be good. You know how peppermint is supposed to help calm your stomach? Yeah. Off-brand use. Off-label use. All right. This really wasn't bad. Did it have a little kick to it? So I was worried about... Oh, yeah, it does. Like, it's... It's very fresh. Mm, now I don't have to brush my teeth. So you're 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 out. You're drinking coffee. Your boss walks in. You pop one of these things in there. Hey, or chief, what's going on? Okay. You're uh, uh you're a part of our advocacy for work the herp. I mean work the herp, and you're about to make out with somebody. And you just drank coffee, and you're like, oh, hold on a second. Let me chew, swish, and swallow first. Listerine. <clears throat> and and those good. are called ready tabs? These are called, yeah, ready tabs. Listerine ready tabs. How'd you get those? They mailed them to you? Yeah, they did. Well, shit, I want some. It was, you, if you go on their website as a dental professional, um, they send you like samples of regular Listerine, and then they just sent me these this time. All right. They're actually. I'm, I'm going on. I, I think, think our Listerine is, rep gave, let me try one once. And I, yeah. I, I don't remember loving it. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder All if right. they have, ooh, well, no, that probably wouldn't be good to have the purple Listerine that has fluoride in it. So here's the thing. Like, it's very minty. Like, even still, I still have that, like, when I breathe in, it's, like, very wintry feeling. Um, ooh, I wish you could. Can you smell my breath? Does it smell okay? I, I like I, I thought I could for a second, but I can't. 
Try try it, Carlos. Ready? I'm I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway oh, oh so, so, yeah. so let's just say while we're, while we're at it um yeah if anybody works for a company and you want us to try something totally on the air oh i love that i love we'll that. try it and we'll give you an honest opinion um we're, we're, but if you yeah. think if it's a if it's a borderline thing and we don't love it we're gonna say that so Right, we don't bag products yeah. if, unless we believe in them. So, um, uh, we'll definitely review it, right? I will. Would you? Yeah, I'll yeah. T- totally, totally. Yeah. We did it for the toothbrushes on yeah. episode what thirteen, way, way back when. Almost we two had years Battle ago. of the Brushes. Yeah. Boom. So yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I would recommend stuff. these. I know it was my face was probably weird, um, but I was expecting different things. Like so, when I first started chewing it up. I was almost expecting like a gel burst or something like you know how those those the gum that has gel jelly yeah, in the middle yeah. or they don't make those anymore something do they like that F- uh, oh it's called freshen up I don't know if they make it I think they I don't know I don't know and then there were some other ones I think that was kind of it was like a like a jelly donut that you can chew but that was minty you know what I mean yeah yeah <laughs> but totally not yeah. like a jelly donut yeah. okay all right I don't know what I'm talking about. So, but it was it was um, it was chalky. It's almost like maybe you know what, a tums or what something. What it looked like to me, yeah, like like it was uh, like an antacid that just kind of melts. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I wonder if it's good for tummy aches because it does. Like, because that's the thing. Like when you were younger and Grandma had a mint in her purse. So if your tummy hurt, she gave you this twelve year old mint that had lint all over the wrapper. But you know. Or you could just do sh- uh, a shot of Jaeger, and which is its original intended purpose. Was Seriously? It a- yeah, it's an after dinner thing. Oh. You didn't know that? No, but Jaeger was Jaeger. You know, Jaeger. No, you're not supposed to get ripped on it. Oh, you like after dinner? You have a you have a hit of that. Because, you know, you might may have gotten a little wild with the sauerkraut and the sausage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you need a little something to calm all that mess down before you before you chug down a right. couple of beers, you know? Mm. So Wow, I didn't know that. I I uh have you ever done a Jaeger Jaeger bomb? I know of it, but no, I've never done it because I'm afraid the shot glass is gonna hit me in the teeth. You're supposed to catch it in your mouth. Screw that, dude. I'm just kidding, I have no idea. Uh, and then I had a way, oh my gosh, seven, eight, eight years ago. No, this is pre-marriage. So 12 years ago, maybe I was at a 4th of July party and I had a, um, Irish car bomb where you drop, uh, I think it's like Bailey's Irish cream. You, you have a shot of it and you drop it into a, a, a glass of Guinness and you chug it. Huh. And the purpose of that or is what? It? Does it taste good or does it just get you get messed drunk. up fast? Oh. Yeah. I don't remember what it tasted like, but I remember that night up to a certain point. I saw a thing on social media somewhere. I don't know if it was Facebook, TikTok, yeah. Instagram. I don't know which who it was, right? It was a lady. Yeah. She had two Coronas. Mm. Virus? Beers. Two of them? Oh. You drink oh. maybe a quarter, a fifth of the bottle, right? And get okay. towards out of the neck, you know. Yes. Okay. You add some t- t- tequila. Okay. Some OJ. Okay. And you hit it with this red grenadine stuff, and it turned the whole oh. bottle kind of like like reddish pink, you know. Okay. And you put a let lime in it, and the guy who that was narrating it said he goes three of those, and you will be messed up. Oh. But I mean, it sounds like it'll get you Ooh. going, though, right? That wouldn't that the orange juice would not go good with this. Uh-uh. Cool. But and yeah, I'm at that stage in my life where wow. I don't need to experiment with voodoo, voodoo and drinks. bullshit drinks. You know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> if I gotta yeah. add chemicals and stuff and, and red stuff to it, dude, I'll just go slow and I'll drink a couple beers. Yeah. Or I'm gonna mix a thing with tequila. I'm not gonna mix the two. And yeah. And go in too deep, and then next thing you know, you're you're, you're yeah. on a porch in the middle of upstate New York, crawling to too the deep. edge. 
yeah, two days later and you don't remember anything. And you and your foot hurts for a month and a half afterwards. <laughs> so, and your bruises on your knees and you don't oh, even know what happened. Oh my god. Dude, my foot still hurts, man. Oh, does it? Yeah, like when oh, I crap. drive like long distances the other Wednesday night I did that fundraiser. Ugh, like yeah. it would kinda like cramp up and I'm like, yo, what is going on? I was like, damn it, man. That's what I'm, you get. That's what no, you get. Just... Yeah. No, Sarah says exactly what you get, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are idiots. I'm the idiot. Oh my you know? gosh, Carlos! How long has it been now? I want to say the end of June. So oh, a month and a half. Two months. Almost two Holy months. Crap. Yeah, Boy. two months. My yeah. goodness. It feels better, but it's still. Let me see. Like you know, I told you right. The 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 three middle toes, the top of the foot. Yeah. Like halfway back, maybe a third of the way back. Yeah. Was yeah. it felt like it was thicker. Like so I don't yeah. know what that was. What what it was it was like a bru I don't know what it was. And it's and it's just now flat again where my feet both match. Oh my gosh. Dude, I broke something. I had to have. Or at least splintered it. You're hardcore. We don't need no hospitals <sighs> no. up in this mug. Jesus no. Christ, man. No, I don't want to get Oh, can I update on something too? Yeah. Poison ivy. Still? I don't think I don't think it was poison ivy. What? Cuz the rash wasn't like poison ivy rashes. And uh so John goes, "I don't think that's poison ivy. I think that's fill in the blank." Poison sumac. No. Guess again. Damn, poison oak. Last guess. Shingles. To herp. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, he goes, I think that's chiggers. The little bugs? He heard... Yes. That and I was like, you know what? Skin? You know what? I think he's right because of the way the, like, there's just everywhere. And it's because normally poison ivy has very small vesicles and they follow a line. Yeah. These are kind of like ba 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 ba. Huh. So I don't even know what a chigger looks like. So look it up. Tell me how big are they and what what devilish hell did they come from? <laughs> John's had them before and they like chewed his feet up. He would scratch in the middle of the night like while he was asleep. And then he'd wake up and his feet were bleeding and stuff. Oh, man. That sounds horrible. I know. When he would you go know, fishing I'm going to try stuff, to tell you I how did. to live your life, but <laughs> I wouldn't build a house in a damn chigger patch. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll try not to. Unless you burn everything. <laughs> I'm going to burn it all. Burn it all They're down. so small you need a magnifying glass to spot them. They aren't dangerous, but their bites can leave you with a powerful urge But they to aren't scratch. dangerous. I could die from an infection. They aren't dangerous. I, I guess they're not poison, uh, poisoned. Poisoning? No. They're just buttholes. Oh. You ready? What? Yes. Oh. Scientists call these creature... Uh, Trombiculid mites. They have a bunch of nicknames. You might hear them called harvest mites, harvest bugs, harvest lice, mowers mites, or red bugs. Technically, they aren't insects. They're arachnids. Same family as spiders and ticks. That's horrifying. That I'd... just blew my mind. Did you oh, see yeah. my latest post and on uh, Instagram? Oh, splash the picture up mm. and watch my horrified face. I hope this is a man's leg because it's crazy hairy. <laughs> well, I haven't been able to shave, so mine probably look the same. <laughs> Put my name under that. Say Sandy's leg. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> oh, oh and gosh. the adult ones don't bite. It's the baby ones that you have to watch Well, out these for. babies need to die. They latch onto your pants or shirt and they crawl around until they find a patch of skin. They use sharp jaw-like claws to make tiny holes. They inject saliva that turns some of your cells into mush. This sounds Why like a do science they do it? fiction movie. 
Why? They feed. They, they feed on your blood. Those liquefied cells are food. When they get on you, they can stay attached to your skin for several days while they eat. Yum, 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 yum. Can happen anywhere in your body. They show up in clusters around your waist or lower legs. Yeah, it's really bad on my foot. Several and days. Then right might at keep the top of my night. thigh. Maybe a week or two. If you're a guy. Oh, this is funny. I'm going to say. <laughs> if you're I'm a guy. I'm scared to hear what's next. And you get a chigger bite in your groin area. <laughs> <laughs> you get a condition known as summer penile syndrome. <laughs> Usually associated Funny, with, with, oh with herpes gosh. too. No, no, I, but this is its own oh, thing. St- it causes. Oh, this is horrible, dude! It causes itching, swelling, and trouble uh, going to the bathroom. It can last Ooh. a few days to a few weeks. Ooh, ah, I'm pretty much over it. Like every once in a while, I'll get a little okay. itching bout, but. Holy crap. Jeez. Oh, I would not want this in those regions. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine? Dude, I never, never heard of that before. <sighs> so Summer you're saying burn my syndrome. leg off. <laughs> Say that again. Summer penile syndrome. That's so stupid. That's funny sounding. <laughs> but, oh, my gosh. Can you imagine this there? Like what's going on no, on my foot? No, no, I don't want to imagine there, that. Oh that, that's, gosh, that's that would what's, be. It sounds horrifying. Oh my Ugh. god. Okay. How long ago? How long ago did I eat this tab? What? Think, fifteen like, 10 minutes? minutes? 10, yeah. 15? Oh yeah. Ten, fifteen minutes. It's still slightly um, minty. So those, I, I feel like those are good. It's quick. Yeah. Nice. Anyway, so back all to right. the chiggers. They almost yeah. die. Yeah. All right. Well. Wow. We're just this this episode just went on a, on a roller coaster of emotions. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We've lost some some Hollywood folks, and um, Sandy was attacked by arachnids. <laughs> God Ugh. bless. I, 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 honestly, that sounds made up. The SPS. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm, that's gonna be the title. I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna. I'm gonna write. <laughs> Chiggers SPS and and you know I, I'll, I'll make something funny. I would write it out because people aren't gonna know what SPS means until they listen. So until they summer listen. penile syndrome, totally. And just put that's it on our there. Title. All right. Yes. <laughs> With so a question dumb. mark after. I know. <laughs> put real or fake. Is it summer penile syndrome? Or the herp. Oh, summer penile herp. The herp. Oh, I don't know. Jesus Christ! I, this is an awesome episode. I know, I know. <laughs> but you know, there's all kinds of like weird things that can happen. I'm on WebMD, and that's why I never go on oh, this website because you can put that. there, "Hey, oh my my, my right foot hurts," and they'd be like, "You got bone cancer." You know what I mean? Yes. And just, yes. And you'll lose your don't damn mind. It, it, yes. It'll say. Did were you drinking and fell on a on a on a porch in a log cabin, or and, and bruised it, or it's bone cancer, one or the other? Right. <laughs> no in between. It's no, either this or this. No in between. It's you're dying or so. So yeah, stay off of WebMD unless you absolutely have to. Bring I Johnny do that with ghost you. Ghost pepper. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. I think he he dried it last night. Oh okay. Okay. And I have your address. That's your address, right? Yeah. So I have, what, uh, about a week to live? I think you're going to be all right. He was telling me, he goes, dude, no one wants to see you eat a little piece of it. He goes, eat the whole thing. I go, seeds and all? He goes, eat it to the stem like, like you would a grape. I go, is it bad? He goes, it's not that bad. He goes, yeah, it's pretty bad. He Carlos. goes, yes, it's bad, but it's just hot. It's not going to kill you. He goes, do you have, is he your beneficiary of your will? I think so. Do you not see what's going on? He's trying to take do me out. Outside looking in, ha- listen to your <laughs> friends, Carlos. He's trying to kill you. <laughs> Death by ghost pepper. Uh, Look it tried- up. Maybe ten of those last night. So, 
I'm gonna get in the mail either today or tomorrow. As soon as he tells me it's dry enough. Yeah. And so we might be we, oh. might, we might be shooting it next weekend. One week to live. <sighs> bye, <sighs> bye, guys. Episode uh, ninety nine will be our last one. So he Sorry. told me to tell you, uh, make sure you have some some whole milk standing by. I'm dairy free. <laughs> oh, then you better get some soy milk and some damn almond milk or something. I can't have soy or almonds, so I'll just get my coconut milk. Okay. That sounds soothing as hell. I'm kind of scared, Carlos. Well, he told me to, to, to you know, it, well, basically he called me, told me to stop being a wuss. So I'm going to just pass that on. <laughs> but eat What's as much as name? you want, Lucas. Lucas, this is for you. Uh, so he goes he he tried one and he survived he goes but it was hot and it lasted a while so i'll I'll do half i'm not doing the whole thing he can kiss my ass dude i'm not doing what did he talk about the after effects the other end about the other he 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 hadn't comment he said that they say that it's a thing and he hadn't experienced that just at the time that we talked so okay. I need to ask him. I, I imagine it can't be another another Gannat. Got him. There you go. So, yeah. So we're going to do it, man. I, I say we do that last. In the episode because, because we're not going to be able to talk afterwards. Up throwing up and stuff. Yeah, I think <laughs> you're right. So, ne- oh, but then we're going to like the whole episode. We're going to be like dreading it. Like we're looking around like. This is our last episode. Here's the dude. thing: if you nibble it, and then you get a base layer hot, and you still got to eat the rest of it, you know the other half of it, that's gonna suck. Yeah. So I'm just gonna just pop half of it and just just tear and just the grind it off. out. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna suck so bad. You're gonna eat the seeds? He says you got to. He's full of crap, Lucas. Well, they're really thin. Skinned peppers and then dry. It's going to be nothing to it. Ugh. Just a side question. Do you ever go, Luke, I am your father to him? I have, yeah. I knew yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. You have to. All right. All right. Well, listen, sad. I got to go mow the lawn. Yes. And you know, we got Ugh. things to do. Yeah. Live it up. You got one week to live. You know, and uh, yeah, we may all have one week to live as crazy as the world's getting now. Tomorrow, you know. Dude, you're not gonna believe this, but I think I just saw, I just saw another gnat uh, go go past my left eye. I swear to God, and it landed on my mic. I don't know where it is right now. It flew it's off. It's right. It's right there. Dude, there. All right. Get so it. I'm gonna need you to keep your gnats on your side, and uh, I'll try. All right. Here, here. Give it, give it back to me. All right. Here. All right. You ready? Yeah. There you go. Oh. All right. All right. <laughs> what was this? Episode 98. Yes. Yes. In the All books. Right. Did you learn anything? Probably not. No. But that's not why we're here. So. Yeah. So, everybody, peace out. Yeah. A-Town. Check, this, uh, check out our Instagram and our Facebook page and stuff, and you can always send us some crazy texts or something, 256 743 5677. Yeah. 25674 floss. Or if that's too much trouble, uh off your flosser at Gmail. So just hit us yes. up. Yes. Comments, questions, criticism, compliments. Listerine, uh hit us up. Maybe you can sponsor us if we yeah. let you. You know, if you're lucky. Ready to tab it up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, man. All right, listen, Carlos. have a great weekend. Say hi to John yes. for me. And I uh, you know, enjoy this last week of your your, uh, your life. Of my here. life, yes. There I'm gonna live go. it up. Me too. We're at work. All right, guys. Take care. Go floss yourselves. And have a great weekend. Go floss yourselves. Bye. Peace.